Okay, it's recording now. Okay, so welcome everyone. Um, uh, if you missed those first few minutes of me just chatting, um, I went on a hike today and that hike actually kind of inspired me for class today. Um, what I noticed a lot uh, was a lot of fallen trees <laughs> and a lot of fallen trees that had fallen just like perfectly onto another tree or the other tree kind of had like a V in it and another tree had fallen in it. And I thought that really interesting and kind of beautiful and whether the parks department does that or not kind of doesn't matter. I still, you know, it's just a kind of beautiful sight to see, just to see something fallen and yet being supported. Um, that just really, really stuck with me. And I guess it's kind of like, you know, when you look at a painting or read a poem and um, it doesn't really matter what the initial meaning is. It's just however you interpret it. So that was kind of my interpretation was just that whole aspect of supporting um, and just that strength. Sometimes when, you know, someone else is a little weak, having someone else kind of, you know, be strong for them to hold them up. Um, and so that really kind of inspired me for, for class today. Um, so today will be kind of a, a strong practice, um, but there'll be lots of modifications, of course. Um, and I just want you to really just be in it, regardless of whether you do something or not. Um, definitely listen to your body and, uh, you know, don't go to a place of pain, but also don't avoid something just because it's something you don't think you can do or it's something that you're kind of scared to do, um, do the modifications then, um, build up to it, or just try it. And if you fall or, you know, flat on your face, I've done it more than a million times. Um, heck, I can't even walk across my living room without tripping half the time. Um, just let it happen, you know, and um, just know that we're all here together and kind of supporting each other, whether we can see each other or not, we know each other are there. So um, just kind of take that tidbit with you. But we're gonna start um, seated. Um, I'm seated on my heels. You can sit in a simple cross-legged if that's easier for you. If you have a block or something sturdy and you wanna sit, um, put that under your bum to give yourself a little support, um, which actually I think I'm gonna do just because it sounds kind of nice, um, do that. And then lastly, if you need to grab something to, um, we're gonna do some binding actions today. So whether it's a cloth or a band, um, a rope, it kind of doesn't matter. Anything that if, especially you're really tight in the shoulders, so reaching and grabbing the hands together uh, or even kind of binding in any way is a little tough, um, then go ahead and grab something and make sure you have it close by. So with that said, come into a nice, easy position, really feeling supported, whether it's on the ground, on a block or a pillow. Close the eyes. Just start to deepen our breath. I'm just really listening to the sound of our breath. Listening to how the breath enters and exits the body. Take a moment to just notice if maybe there's some jaggedness to your breath. And see if you can use this time to kind of just smooth that out. Notice if one side of the breath is bigger or longer than the other. And again, take this time to equalize that. And just notice the depth of your breath. Can you bring the breath a little lower into the body so it doesn't stay up high in the lungs and the chest, but actually can come a little bit more into the rib cage and maybe even the belly? Relax the jaw and relax the eyes.
keeping the eyes closed. And we're gonna do just a little bit of counted breath and we're gonna go deep right away. So we're not gonna build up into it. I just want you to try and go as deep as you can, as quickly as possible. So we're gonna start at the count of five. So take, just take a nice deep breath in. Exhale all the air out. And then we'll slowly inhale for the count of one, two, three, four, five. Hold the breath. And exhale for one, two, three, four, five. Again, inhale for one, two, three, four, five. Exhale for one, two, three, four, five. Hold the breath. Take a nice deep breath in. And a deep breath out. We're gonna jump that up to eight. So inhale for the count of one, two. And if you don't get there, that's okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold the breath. And we'll exhale for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, exhale for one, two, three, relax the neck, four, relax the shoulders, five, six, seven, eight, hold the breath. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more time, deep breath in. We're gonna to jump to 10, exhale out. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, hold the breath. And exhale for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale for one, two, notice what the nervous system's doing, three, four, five, Six, relax the shoulders. Seven, eight, relax the jaw. Nine, relax the eyes. Ten, exhale for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now hold the breath, try and hold for one. Two, notice what comes up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Take a nice deep breath in. 
and deep breath out. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Slowly open the eyes. We'll squeeze those shoulders up on the inhale. As we exhale, let them go. Inhale, squeeze them up. Exhale, let them go. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, let it go. One more time. Inhale, squeeze. And we'll hold for five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. And then nice big shoulder rolls one at a time, going nice and slow at first, and then go a little faster. And then forward, nice and slow. Just kind of feeling every part of the shoulder complex here. And then a little faster. Kind of get your 70s dance groove on. Slowly relax. Now both at the same time, big shrugs back. And big shrugs forward. Bringing the hands together, interlace the fingers, kind of just do nice big waves, going one direction and then the other. Just kind of getting into the wrist, just nice and easy to start with. And then holding on to one hand, pull down on that hand. So it's not aggressive, we're just guiding it down, getting a nice stretch into the back of the wrist. And then switch and get into the front of the wrist. One more time to the back of the wrist and then to the front of the wrist. Pause and do some nice big wrist rolls there. And back. Going into the other side, lengthen the arm forward, gently press on the back of the hand, guiding it down. And then switch and into the palm, guiding it back. Again, guiding it down. And guiding it back. Release, nice big rolls in one direction, and then in the other. One more time, interlacing the fingers, pushing the palms forward. Start to bow through the upper back, so you kind of dome in that upper back, so that you can get a nice stretch between the shoulder blades. And then as you inhale, lift up, but keep the rib cage in. So don't let them pop out, keep them nice and long. Exhale, bow the upper rib cage. Inhale, push those palms up, lengthen through the spine, keep that lower rib cage zipped in, belly in. Exhale, push it forward. Inhale, lift it up. And exhale, push it forward. One more time, inhale, lift. And exhale, push it forward. Cactus the arms, bring them back this time. Now you can kind of lift to the chest, but keep that lower rib cage really corseted in. So we're letting the chest rise, but we're not letting the rib cage splay open. We're keeping those muscles engaged. Inhale, lift the chest, squeeze the elbows back. Maybe gaze goes up. Exhale, round and bring those forearms together. Inhale, lift. And exhale, round. Inhale, lift. And exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, round. Hands come back onto the knees or the thighs and let the head drop to the right. And roll forward and over to the other side. Roll forward back to the right. And roll forward and over to the left. One more time. Back over to the right. And back over to the From here, come back up to center. And if you're on a block or anything else, go ahead and release that off to the side. And come on to hands and knees. From here, a little shoulder activation. So start to claw at the mat and really press the uh, forefinger kind of finger mound and the thumb mound in and then claw. So bend the fingers a little bit so that you can actually press those fingertips into the mat. Start to draw those elbows together and then lengthen. 
and keep the arms engaged. Belly in, lower rib case still tighten, the knees over or under the hips. From here, we're just letting the chest sink down and feel, allow yourself to kind of feel that pull in the shoulder blade. As we exhale, bow and up. Inhale, chest dips. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale, down. And exhale, up. One more time, inhale, down. And exhale, up. Coming back to a neutral spine. We'll let the arms come forward and we're gonna come right into puppy pose. So either forehead to floor or chin and chest to floor. And if you're really, really tight in the shoulders, you have option of maybe using a block or a pillow under your forehead, maybe even under your chest, or you can widen the arms about mat width apart. Try as best as you can to kind of keep them about shoulder width apart if possible, but if you're really tight, I'd much rather you try and get the depth so that you can start to get into the shoulders rather than limiting it. And you just work on wherever you're at, letting the heart drop. So I want you to imagine as though you're opening the inner thighs back and pushing your sit bones up. So hopefully no one's behind you. Deep breaths here. I really want you to emphasize the exhale. Deep breath in and then see if you can elongate the exhale. Each time the heart drips a little bit closer to the mat, the sit bones rise a little bit more. Squeeze the outer hips in as you widen the inner thighs back. Press the tops of the feet into the floor. Maybe all 10 toes, kind of press those into the floor. Inhale, press into the hands. And slowly, we'll just kind of undulate the spine down and come right into Sphinx pose. Letting the forearms come down, press them down and pull back. Open the chest forward. Squeeze the tops of the thighs and press the tops of the feet into the floor. Widen those shoulders back so that you feel as though the chest is reaching forward even more. Keep the neck nice and long. And slowly come down. From here, lengthen the arms back and lengthen the neck forward. So we're lifted, but we're not looking forward. We're keeping the gaze down. Again, legs are active, so squeeze the inner thighs towards each other, squeeze the fronts of the legs, and press all 10 toes into the floor. Right now, we're just reaching the arms back. From here, we're finding just a little lift. So inhale, lift. Exhale, come back to hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back to hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale back to hover. If you can, maybe interlace the hands this time. Inhale, lift, reach the palms back. Maybe the heels of the hands come together. Gaze goes forward. Every time you inhale, inch the chest forward and up. As you exhale, squeeze the legs. Really feel as though you're lengthening the legs back, even though they're on the floor. And exhale, release the hands and come back down. Press the hands into the floor and push back into a child's pose. From here, walk the hands over to the right and reach with the left. Let the hips drop to the left. Take a deep breath in. Let the head and neck completely release. Inhale, come up. Walk the hands over to the left. Reach with the right. Let those hips drop to the right and then completely release the head and neck. Keep reaching with the right arm and really feel the back of the shoulder, maybe even to the armpit, lengthen. Inhale, come back to center. Coming up onto hands and knees, pause. Bringing the knees together and making sure that the wrists are under the knees or maybe slightly in front. And I want a nice sturdy foundation here. As we inhale, Bring the right knee into the chest. As we exhale, we're going to do big circles out and around. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. 
going in the opposite way. Bring it back behind you, rotate it around and bring it in. So start to really use the belly and just get into that hip. Inhale for it and exhale back. Now inhale, lengthen that leg back and then straighten the leg. Inhale, left arm goes forward and get long. As we exhale, left arm comes out to the left, right leg goes out to the right. Inhale forward, exhale to the right. Inhale forward, exhale to the sides. Inhale forward. This time, as you exhale, left hand comes down, bend the right knee, and we're gonna attempt to step the right foot forward. So you may have to use your hand here. We're really gonna get into that hip. So we're kind of pulling in that right foot forward and stepping it. So you may have to use your hand to guide it there. And then bringing the hips down. So we're in a lizard-like position. Inhale here. As we exhale, push the hips back, but stay to the inside of the leg. From here, it's like we're undulating the spine. So lift the pelvic floor, pull the belly in. As we inhale, we'll uncurl forward, chest forward. Exhale, push back. Inhale, uncurl forward. Exhale back. Inhale, uncurl forward and pause. Staying here if you would like but really ignite that left leg. So press all five toes into the floor, squeeze the front of the thigh and squeeze that left glute. Chest goes forward. Staying here, or perhaps bringing your arms in front, your right hand, um, tricep or shoulder in front of the right shin, popping up onto those fingertips and then bowing in, going as deep as you possibly can. Right knee keeps squeezing into the right rib cage. And inhale, come up. From here, bring the hands back in. Once again, we'll shift the legs back. Exhale and see if maybe those forearms can come down and you go as deep as possible. Keep pushing the sit bones back. So it's a small movement, so not something that you necessarily see. I'll try to accentuate it, but we're going to lengthen back. Inhale forward, and just as we came into it, we're gonna try and lift the right leg and shift it back into that bent position, and exhale, bring the knee down. Inhale, lift that left leg up. Lengthen it out. Now, same thing, right arm reaches forward. Take a deep breath in, as we exhale, Left leg out to the left, right arm out to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, out to the side. Inhale, center. Exhale, to the side. Inhale, center. And exhale, right hand comes to the floor. Bend that left knee and those big hip rolls. So bring the knee in and out to the side. In, exhale back. In. Exhale back, and now opposite direction. Back and then in. Use the abdominals to help get deeper into that hip joint. And then inhale, lift. Lengthen it out, and we're gonna step it forward. So you can bend the knee and try and swing it around to the side, or if you really wanna get into the hip and the leg, swing it straight and gently land coming into that lizard position. Inhale, chest forward. As we exhale, curl back and forearms to the floor, tuck the chin. Inhale, uncurl the spine forward, chest forward, gaze forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward and pause. Again, stay here, coming down onto the forearms or reaching those arms forward and going a little deeper. But as you do, press all five of the right toes into the floor, squeeze the right glute gently, and then keep that left 
inner thigh connected to the rib cage. If you're gonna bow in, bow in. Use the breath to find your depth. Inhale, slowly come up. As we exhale, push the hips back and bow in as deep as you can. Again, push the sit bones back. Feel like you're widening, this sounds bad, but feel like you're widening the bum back so that you can really get into the hamstring. Inhale, slowly come forward. Press the hands down. Try and lift that left leg back and around. Lift it up and bring it back down. From here, just some nice big barrel rolls with the hips. So either just the hips, just to kind of work out any kinks that you might still have there just from some of that uh, hip mobility. Or get deeper and let everything go. Whatever movement here, I really want you to feel like you're kind of tapping in and opening spaces or maybe getting uncomfortable in order to find comfort. Make sure you get both directions. And then come back to normal. From here, flip the toes. We'll lift the hips and come into down dog. Take a moment and just be still in your down dog. If you need, feel free to be up on the toes or bend the knees, whatever feels good here. I like to have a little bit of a bend in my knees when uh, I'm first starting, just so I can really engage the back of my calves. That tends to be where I'm the tightest. So play around with it, but find that place of stillness. One more breath. As you exhale, begin to look forward, bend the knees, and just walk or step to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And as we exhale, big bend in the knees and fold forward. Hands can come to the ground. You can hold on to opposite elbows. I like to kind of hop up onto my fingertips, use my belly, and just squish in squish in as tight as I can. So I press my fingertips down and almost forward so that I can use the strength of my arms to pull it even more. Slowly bending the knees and rolling the spine up. Once you get to the top, big shoulder shrugs back. Inhale forward and exhale back. Inhale, arms come up. Reach them up nice and tall. Gaze at the thumbs. As we exhale, Surya Namaskar A, fold forward. Inhale, hands come to floor or shins. Lengthen through the spine. As we exhale, first one, just step to a high plank. From here, feel free to lower onto the knees. But we're going to lower to Chaturanga. So keep the elbows in, shift the weight forward, and chest goes forward. Inhale. Open forward and exhale, push back in the down dog. Now through these sun salutations, if you prefer to go to your belly and do cobra, by all means do so. If you wanna skip the sun salutations and just step back to down dog and move into your down dog, by all means. But as long as you're moving and breathing. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step to the front. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squish in, use your belly. Inhale, arms come forward, rise up, gaze at the thumbs. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, lengthen the spine. This time, as you exhale, walk, step, or float. Chaturanga or your belly. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. One deep breath in. As you exhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, little bend in the knees. 
Exhale, fold again. Keep the belly engaged. Pelvic floor stays lifted. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga or your belly. Chest is forward. Inhale, up. Try not to go too fast. Exhale, back. Try and slow it down if you tend to rush through it. Inhale, look forward. Bend the knees. Walk, step, or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Squish it in. Inhale, rise up. Last one, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, walk, step, float. Inhale, up. And exhale, back. Inhale, right leg goes up. Get really long behind you. As we exhale, right knee comes into the nose, shift shoulders over wrists. Inhale, back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, back. Exhale, step forward. Drop the left knee. And uncurl the toes. Inhale, rise up. Bring the hips back over uh, the knee. And exhale, bring the hands down. Palms face forward. Swing the arms back. But don't kind of, you know, start to jut it out. We're not in jazzercise, okay? So lengthen through the spine and just reach the arms back to open the chest. As we exhale, swing the legs or arms forward, hips drop, reach them up. Inhale, come back, reach them back. Exhale, drop the hips, come forward. Inhale, back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, back. This time as we exhale, come forward. We're gonna drop the left arm behind you and either just take the right hand and put it on that left shoulder or reach around low back or right hand comes to the low back or maybe you go for that bind with the fingertips or a cloth or whatever you have handy. Take a deep breath in as we exhale shift to the right. Keep the right heel pressing down and pulling back towards the left knee. Left knee and left foot presses down and pulls towards the right heel. Inhale, come back to center. Release the arm, right arm up. As we exhale, right hand comes to hip or floor and reach the left arm over. Maybe even let the chest rise up. As we inhale, come up, sweep the left hand back either to the hip or the thigh, or maybe that chin or a calf. Inhale, right arm comes up in a slight little twist. So we're letting the chest twist to the left. Deep breath in. As we exhale, hands come back. This time, frame the foot, push the hips back. Let the toes come up if you would like, or just press them down. Inhale, lengthen. And as we exhale, fold in. Deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Slowly shift forward. Lift that, or flip the left toes, lift the knee, and get buoyant in the hips. So I want you to feel as though the hips are actually rising before anything else does. Plant the hands. Maybe this happens, maybe it doesn't, but you're going to push down so much and feel as though the pelvis is actually lifting you up that maybe the toes come up or maybe the whole foot comes up and reach it back. Inhale, right leg goes up again. This time, stack right hip over left. Half scorpion. Exhale, right foot comes down. Inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, knee to nose. Shoulders over wrist. Inhale, back. Really try and bring the thigh and squeeze it into the belly and chest. Exhale, forward. Inhale, back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, back. Exhale, step forward. Slowly drop the right knee. Inhale, come up. Keep a nice long spine. Close that rib cage. Keep the pelvic floor in and pull that belly in. Inhale, rise up. Get nice and tall. As we exhale, bring the arms back. Palms face forward. Reach back. Inhale, let the hips drop. Arms go up. Exhale, hands come back. Reach them back. 
Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale up and pause. This time, right elbow bends. Right hand comes to the nape of the neck. Left hand will come to the elbow or low back or go for the body. Take a deep breath in. Keep lengthening through the spine even as the hips drop. As we exhale, slight bend to the left. Keep pressing the head back. Inhale, come back to center. Release the hands and lift that left arm up. As we exhale, left hand comes to hip or floor. Right arm reaches up and over. Let the hips drop, but keep the chest coming up. Keep that left leg engaged. So the left heel is pulling back towards the right knee. Right knee pulls back towards that left heel. As we inhale, come up, windmill the hands around. Right hand to hip, thigh, or calf. Inhale, slight rotation of the rib cage and turn to the right. Take a nice deep breath in. As we exhale, come forward and frame the foot. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, push back into your half Hanuman. Push the sit bones back and fold in. Knee can be bent. Sometimes I find I even get a greater, kind of more of a stretch if I keep a little bend in the knee and then just really push my bum back. Apparently I like to push my bum back a lot. Inhale, slowly come forward. As we exhale, flip the left or right toes on. Press the hands down, lift through that right knee. Again, really feel as though the hips are lifting up, like something's pulling up from the back side. Press the right toes down, lift the right heel. Press down so much that maybe the left toes lift or the left leg lifts and pull it back. Inhale, left leg lifts again, three-legged down dog, and then stack the left hip over the right and come into half scorpion. As we exhale, slowly bring the left foot to the floor. Inhale, roll forward, so come up onto the toes, wave the spine forward to a high plank. Exhale, a little bend the knees and push yourself back. Inhale, roll forward, so find this fluidity. Exhale back. Inhale forward, and exhale back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, come to your back. Right away, uncurl the toes, but keep them at least hip width apart or closer. Press all 10 toes into the floor, squeeze the legs, press pubic bone and hips into the floor. Now reach the arms back, either reach them back completely or interlace those fingers. Gaze stays down, neck is long. On the inhale, lift everything up. Focus on lengthening the legs. Chest keeps going forward. And exhale, slowly come down. Pressing up and back. Down dog. Inhale, right leg goes up. Step right hip over left, half scorpion. As we exhale, we'll cross right knee to left elbow. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to elbow. Suck it in. Inhale, up and back. And exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, up and back. Now, option is to either drop the right knee to the floor for modified side plank and just open up. Or we're going to cross right knee over left and come into kind of a uh, bent knee side plank. On the inhale, bring the hips towards the heels. As we exhale, try and lengthen everything, but keep the knees crossed. Inhale, bend. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, bend. And exhale, lengthen. Now, if you're in modified side plank, pivot back to the floor. Raise back up to down dog. From side plank, if the knees are crossed, uncross, slowly come back 
and go right into wild thing or half scorpion. So half scorpion stay or pivot, roll, bring the right toes to the floor. Inhale, open up, take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, we'll slowly step the right foot forward for three. Keep it in close. Two. See if you can hover just when you think you can't anymore. Try. And one. From here, inhale. Open up to crescent. Now you can stay in crescent here or drop the back toes or back heel and come into a warrior one. Either one. Interlace the fingers behind you. Inhale, lengthen. And as we exhale, fold forward on the inside of the knee and come into humble warrior. Keep squeezing the right hip in. So press both feet down, squeeze them towards each other, and then squeeze the right hip in even more. Keep lengthening crown of head towards the floor and try and keep the rib cage on the inside of the right thigh rather than letting it rest on top. One more breath. Inhale, we'll slowly come forward as we do reach both arms forward. Exhale, bring the hands behind you again. Come up onto those left toes. Inhale, chest comes forward and we'll come right into airplane. So lift the right leg up. Keep reaching the hands back. Bend into the right knee and see if you can just keep pushing the chest forward as the leg lengthens back. Big long leg with that left leg. As we exhale, bring it back. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, release the arms forward. Inhale, cactus the arms back. Exhale, reach it forward. Inhale, slowly open to warrior two. Pull that left arm back. As we exhale, Lengthen the right leg and reach that right arm back. Inhale, come forward, bend into the right knee and either bring forearm to thigh, hand to floor on the inside of the leg or go for that bind. So if you're going for the bind, you're trying to stay on the inside of the thigh. So whether you're holding on to something or the wrist, try not to bow forward but open the chest to the side. Use the shoulder against the knee and the knee against the shoulder and then lengthen through the crown of the head. Maybe look up. We're gonna lengthen into triangle. So if you're bound and you wanna try, then lengthen through the leg, try and keep the spine going forward and get long. Any other position, just bring your hand onto your shin or the floor or block. Inhale, bend into the left knee. Lengthen that left arm up and over. Reach it forward and we're gonna pivot towards the side of the mat. Come into a wide leg, forward fold. From here, pop up onto those fingertips. Inhale, wave the spine long. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, wave it up. Exhale, bow in. Inhale, wave. This time, hold it here and start to do little rolls with the hips and then with the shoulders. And then come back to center. Walking the hands over to that left ankle. So you can either just raise the left arm and kind of come in for a deep twist, maybe even hold on and bow in. Or to go deeper, hold on to the ankle or shin with the right hand. Thread that left arm under the right, reach back for the right leg with the left hand, and go for a nice twist. Now keep equalizing the hips, so squeeze the inner thighs together. And take a couple of deep breaths. If you're in this deep twist here, slowly uncurl. If you're in the kind of folded in twist, uncurl and lengthen. Bring the hands back to center. We'll slowly pivot towards the back of the mat. So turn the left toes back. 
Bring the right hand down and inhale, left arm up. Option is to stay here. You can even drop the right knee if needed. Or we're gonna pivot the legs to the left. So the left foot's gonna pivot. You're gonna drop onto the pinky side of that right foot and take a deep breath in. As we exhale, see if you can lower the hips, reach that left arm towards the right foot. Inhale, stay there or lift up, reach the left arm up and over. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, lift and exhale, come back down. Inhale, lift. Now you're either in that twisted side plank or you're staying here. Or last option is to lift up into a full side plank, lengthening that left leg, maybe grabbing toes, but not having to. And then no matter where you are, making sure the left foot comes back down, meeting it towards that right hand. Inhale, lengthen the spine, hop the back foot in just a little bit, and exhale, fold in. Again, finding elevation for the hands, or maybe just coming up a little higher on that leg and keeping the knee bent. Or to go deeper, grab back for the thigh and squeeze in, gaze goes back, challenge your balance. Inhale. Slowly look forward and step forward. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale up. Again, as we exhale, we'll interlace the hands behind us. Try for the opposite or awkward side here. Bend the knees, inhale. Reach the arms long, lift the chest. Inhale. Push up, lift through the hips, maybe go for a back bend. Let the head go back. Inhale, slowly come forward and fold forward. Bend the knees. Inhale, come into chair pose with the hands bound. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend. Belly in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend. Look forward, release the hands, reach them up, chair pose, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen one last time just to get the hands to the floor. As you exhale, either down dog or chaturanga. Inhale up and exhale back. Deep breath in, exhale. Inhale, left leg up, stack left hip over right. And we'll slowly bring left elbow to, or sorry, left knee to right elbow. Kind of hard to bring left elbow to right. Inhale up and back. Exhale, cross. Inhale back. Exhale, cross. Inhale back. And exhale, slowly either drop left knee to the floor for modified Rashi Stasana or cross left over right. Bend the right knee and hover. Inhale, right arm up. Maybe you stay here or dip the hips down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lengthen. From here, if you're in modified side plank, rotate down and lift to down dog. If you're in twisted side plank, release the knee. Everyone come up and either half scorpion or wild thing. Toes come down. Inhale, open. So you're on the left toes, but the right foot's flat. Lengthen to the right leg, open the chest. And as we exhale, everyone step to the front of the mat for three. Squeeze that left thigh in. Two, go as slow as you can. You've got it last. One. Inhale, come all the way up to crescent and pause. Again, staying in your crescent or dropping the right heel for warrior one. Inhale, interlace the hands behind you. Reach up with the chest. Exhale, fold to the inside. Keep the left rib cage on the inner thigh of that left leg. Deep breath in and deep breath out. 
Keep squeezing the left hip in. The bum wants to jump way out. Squeeze it in, don't let it happen. As we inhale, release the hands, come all the way up, reach them forward, pause. Feel the strength of the legs. Now exhale, bring the hands behind you, interlace them again. Inhale, reach the chest forward, arms back. As you exhale, come up onto those right toes. Lean forward and slowly rise up into a warrior three for a moment, and then bend the left knee. Keep lengthening through the right leg and pull the chest forward, look forward. Can you raise the right leg a little bit higher without falling? And slowly bring the right toes back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release the arms overhead. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, pull and cactus the arms back. Inhale, forward. And exhale, back. Inhale, forward. And we're going to drop the right heel. Pull that right arm back like you're pulling on a bow and come right into warrior two. From here, inhale, lengthen the left leg, reverse your warrior, or reverse your triangle. Can't talk today. Exhale, slowly come forward into extended side angle. Either forearm down to thigh, hand down to the floor, right arm up and over, or that bind. Feel the strength of the legs. Everything's branching out from the strength and foundation of the lower body. Now from here, either release the bind, bring your hands wherever it's accessible, or lengthen into your triangle. Keep lengthening the spine forward. One more deep breath in. Slowly release. And we will come up and then hands come down. Walk the hands over towards the right side. So again, long edge of the mat. Pop up onto those fingertips, get long. Exhale, wave the crown of the head down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, and exhale down. Walking the hands over to the right. Left hand grabs onto that right ankle, and you just reach that right arm up, or maybe bring it to your sacrum. Or going for that deep twist, take the right hand, thread it under the left, reach for the left. Uh, leg with the right hand and twist. Inhale, slowly unwind and bring the hands back down. Walking the hands towards the front of the mat, turn the right toes forward, pop up onto those left toes, bend into the right knee, inhale, twisted lunge. Either stay here, or once again, heel toe, that right foot to the right. As we exhale, let the hips come down. Stay there, or rise, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Stay here or go right into your side plank. Lifting, lengthening, holding, whatever you can. Just get long. Open, open up. And then no matter where you are, stepping that right foot back and coming into that twisted lunge. And then slowly drop the hand. We're gonna step that left foot forward. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Inhale, we'll rise all the way up. And exhale, hands at heart center. Coming into tree posture. So taking the right foot, 
putting it into the left groin. If you want to go for the half lotus, by all means, feel free. But today, I just, this is probably one of my favorite poses. I feel like I can just sink and meditate in this pose for so very long. Connect the hands. So I don't care where you're at with whether hands are overhead, maybe they come behind you. I don't care, but connect them. I want you to connect the hands and feel as though every time you breathe in, you're breathing in through that left leg. It's circulating all the way through the body and coming in back out into that right foot so that the cycle never breaks. Find a gaze point. Squeeze that left hip in. Open through the right Slowly release that foot down. Going right into the other side. Left foot comes into the right groin or whatever area you would like. You can always bring it to the shin. You can even bring it to the ankle and use your toes on the floor for leverage or even put it on a block so that you can work on opening the hip. Squeeze the right hip in, so don't let it jut out. Bring it in and open the left knee. Again, lift through the chest, lift through the belly, hands come together, deep breath in. Find your Zen point. Slowly lower that left leg. Take a deep breath in. As we exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. As we exhale, walk, step, or float. Chaturanga. Inhale up and exhale back. Inhale, right leg goes up. As we exhale, step forward. Drop the left knee. Once again, uncurl the right toes and either push back into your half hanuman or go for your full splits. So send the right foot forward and inch that left foot back. Be gentle, be kind, but keep both feet activated. So I want you to keep the left toes tucked actually, but point the right toes, no matter what position you're in. So if you're in half hanuman, just point the right toes, maybe extend them towards the floor rather than lifting them up. Now, if you would like, and you're in full splits, feel free to come down. And then lift back up. Stay in your half high on a fit if you're there. If you're in full splits, take the right hand behind you, lift the left arm up. So grabbing for the left leg with the right hand and lift up and back. So don't turn the torso, but look forward, lift as though you're lifting out of the hips. Keep the left glute ignited. Keep the right quad ignited. Lift up even more. And exhale, release. Lifting up, spin back. Down dog. Inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, step it forward. And drop the right knee. Again, keeping the back toes tucked. Press the hips back for half Hanuman and then press those right toes down. So press the big toe mound down and fold in or just stay wherever is accessible. If you're going for those full splits, use whatever you need to get there. But once there, point the left toes forward. Keep the right toes tight. If you'd like to fold forward for a moment, take a deep breath in. Just one breath here. And slowly come back up. Stay in your half Hanuman if there. Otherwise, take the left hand. Reach for the right leg. Squeeze the right glute and squeeze the left quad. Inhale. Right arm goes up. Chest stays forward. Gaze is forward. And lift the chest. So don't think back then. Think lift up, up, up. Right hip keeps pushing forward. And exhale. Slowly come down. Lift up and back. Down dog. Pedal it out. For the coup de gras, inhale, right leg up, cross, or 
stack right hip over left. And then as we exhale, slow as you can. I want you to take your time. Go slower than you want to for five, four, stepping the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Three, two, see if you can hover and one, drop it down. From here, turn onto the left foot. So you're kind of in a warrior two stance. And then bring the right shoulder to the inside of the knee. So you're either going to stay here and kind of hop or step that left foot forward. Or if you're going for the bind, bind and then step the left foot forward. From here, if the hand is on the floor and you're not binding, what I want you to do is actually take the arm and cup it around that right knee on the outside. Left hand to waist as you come up, lift it up. Work on balance and try and open it out to the side. You can even try and extend, but I want you to find that connection of thigh to rib cage. If you're bound, same thing. As we lift, flex the right toes and open that hip. From here, lift the chest, get really tall. If you're going to extend the leg, point the toes, extend, and keep squeezing that thigh into the side body. Deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath in. And exhale. Slowly release. Fold forward and hang. Maybe you should work those shoulders out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back to down dog. Inhale, left leg goes up, stack left hip over right. As we exhale, slow, slow, slow. Squeeze, left knee to the outside of the left shoulder and step to the left, outside of the left hand for five, four, three. See if you can hover that foot, two, even when you don't want to, and one, drop the foot. From here, drop the right heel and either just bend and push that left shoulder to the inside of the left knee or go for the bind. Slowly step, hop, whatever you need to do to get the right foot forward. Hobble, fall, whatever. <laughs> and then come up onto those left toes. As we come up, flex the toes and lift. Push the hips forward. Squeeze the left shoulder back. Keep that left thigh connected to the rib cage and stay there or extend the leg. For a one, nice deep breath. And slowly lower down. Release. And again, wiggle out the shoulders and wiggle out the neck. From here, a couple of just spinal undulations standing. So as we roll the spine up, shrug the shoulders back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend the knees and just drop the spine down. Inhale, roll. Exhale, shrug. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend and water it down. Inhale, roll. Exhale, shrug. Inhale, lift. And exhale, roll down. Inhale here, look forward, and we will step back to down dog for a moment and then drop onto the knees. Push the hips back, let the forehead come down, and then let the arms come next to the feet. Let the shoulders round, let everything drop in. Slowly come up and we'll come onto our belly. Extend the right arm long, palm down. Left hand next to the rib cage. Let the head either come to the floor or maybe grab a pillow to put under the head for support. As we roll onto our right hip, kickstand the left leg behind you. Stay here or shift the hips forward and let the sacrum drop towards the floor. Maybe even the left knee starts to drop open. 
Inhale, the left arm up, and then as you exhale, let it reach behind you. And then turn the palm down and let it drop wherever it is. Take some deep breaths into the chest as though you're lifting the chest towards the chin. And exhale, roll back to center. Left arm goes long, right hand comes next to the rib cage, turn the head. Kickstand right foot behind you, push the hips forward if you would like, and let the sacrum drop. Maybe let the right knee drop open. Stay here, or reach that right arm up, or reach it back. And then turn the palm and let it drop. Not forcing, kind of searching for a hand, you're just letting it drop wherever it's at. Take deep breaths into the chest as though it's rising up. And slowly come back to center. Pushing back up onto the knees. Pull the knees in one more time. Big barrel rolls with the hips. You might get some crinkle or pops or it might feel like just so liquidy and nice. And then come to a seat. We're gonna roll onto our back. And if you have a block, then feel free to use the block. Otherwise, a nice big pillow or you don't have to use anything, of course. Um, but we're gonna come in, we're gonna come into Savasana with a little bit of a heart opener to begin with. So if you have something to put under you, put it right under those shoulder blades. Keep the knees bent and the feet flat on the floor for a moment so that when you roll back, you can just let everything open. Now, if you don't have anything at home, then just allow yourself to lay there with the knees bent and let them knock together or just stay straight up. If you feel like you'd like to come into a reclined bada, then go ahead and do that. Let everything drop as best as you can. We're taking five deep breaths here. Now, by all means, if you would like to stay in this position longer, then do so. But if you're ready for your savasana, then after your fifth breath, you can gently roll off your block or your support. Or if you like having a pillow under your spine for savasana, then keep it there. Once there, or once you're ready and you're coming down, lengthen the legs out for a moment and bring the right knee in. Give it a nice gentle tug and then turn the head from side to side. Lengthen the left or right leg out and bring the left knee in. Give it a nice, just gentle tug. We're not pulling super tight, we're just gently tugging it in. And once again, shift the head from side to side. Lengthen out and release down. Now, if there's any last movements that your body absolutely needs, then go for it. Otherwise, we're preparing ourselves for savasana. So take one more deep breath in, like the deepest breath you can. And then I want as loud as you can. <sighs> like that sounded horrible. Gosh, I sometimes I hate my voice, but just actively push it out, just uh, like, just get it out. Whatever's in there, I want that guttural sound to come out of your body. So anything that's been brought up in practice is forcefully been pushed out. And maybe do that a few times if you feel like it feels good. I like to do it, but of course that's me. And then let the breath go. And as we let ourselves drop into Savasana, I want you to take yourself to a place outside. So I want you to imagine that, you know, whether it's a wooded mountainous area, um, maybe imagine a time of year. It could be this time of year, it could be winter, it could 
be summer. Or maybe you're at a beach or whatever scenery you want to be in. But I want you to take this time to get as specific as you can. So what time of year is it? What kind of daylight is there? Is there foliage? What's the sounds? Is it fall and you're, or even now you're hearing uh, leaves under your feet? Or are you at the beach and you hear the gentle waves of uh, the water? What do you smell? What do you hear? What do you feel? Is there wind? Is it cool or warm air? If there's foliage, what kind of foliage is there? Are there flowers? What kind of colors? Get specific as you walk through. So let it kind of slowly unfold until you're completely immersed in this place. Try and stay there as long as you can. I'm gonna keep my microphone on um, for anyone that would like to discuss anything after class. Otherwise, just stay in your savasana and whenever you're ready, you're ready. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you enjoyed the practice in good health.